lot of people outside the UK don't understand how big of a club West Ham is. They play in a big stadium, they got big players, and they've been doing some big business. So what does their transfer flow look like over the past five years? In 2017, they spent around 51 million pounds, receiving around 62. They brought in Arnautovic, Chicharito, and Zabaleta on a free transfer, while Andre Ayu, Sako, Nordvay, Jose Font, and Ener Valencia left the club. The year after, they spent around 90 million pounds, receiving just around 13. Felipe Anderson, Isla Diop, Yarmolenko, Fabianski, and Jack Wilshere came into the club. Kuyate was the main player who left. Now in 2019, they spent around 107 million pounds, receiving just around 50. They brought in Haller, Fornals, Bowen, and Suchek, while Arnautovic, Chicharito, and others left the club. Now last year, they spent around 50 million pounds, receiving around 40. And Rama, Suchek, Kufal, and Lingard came into the club. Players to leave the club included Haller, Diangana, Ayeti, and Jack Wolf. Now this year, they spent quite a bit of money, 67 million pounds going out, only receiving 2.7 in revenue. Kurt Zuma, Vlasic, Kral, and Ariola came into the club while Felipe Anderson left. So over the past five years, they've had a negative transfer flow of around 200 million pounds. Now let's be honest, some of that business was questionable and they've spent a lot of money not to win any trophy. But I can't say that recently I've liked their business. I'm not gonna give this a stamp of approval, but I think they're improving in the recruitment process.